Business has been kind of slow these days, thanks to Sheriff Gorman Truart. He's been coming down hard on my competition and anyone else he deems unlawful. I've been playing it safe by keeping a low profile, but as my landlord recently reminded me, the rent is late. He says he's going to pay me a visit tomorrow to collect, so I'll have to go amateur for some quick cash. The warehouses by the docks should fit the bill. In addition to the usual shipping traffic, there's also a small smuggling operation sponsored by the local underground. Not too many guards, lots of dark corners, and several points of entry should make this job painless and profitable. Maybe I'll even have something left over for myself once the rent is paid. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago that I was planning on my retirement. Now the only thing that's getting retired is my standards. If things get any worse, I'll have to go back to picking pockets in the streets. I hear Captain Davidson came into port about four hours ago. That's what I heard. I hope that dirty smuggler brought us some spice. There's none to be found anywhere within this cursed city anymore. I know what you mean. I used to grow my own spice, as well as fruits and vegetables, but all my crops died months ago and won't grow back no matter what I try. It's as if all the plant life in the city up and died. Have you noticed that all the trees in Eastport are wilted and dead? Maybe Davidson will smuggle in trees next, huh? I don't know where he's getting the spice from, but his prices are steep. He's quickly becoming a rich man.
That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. He's a shady guy, into smuggling and piracy.
You should get some sleep. I remember what it was like to sleep. Boss left this morning and put me in charge of unloading and cataloging all the incoming shipments for the mechanists. Every single bloody thing they order is made out of metal. I've been lifting heavy crates all day long and I think my back is about to break. Bunch of taffers in this city. I live near Dayport and I used to have a nice view of the mountains. I used to watch the sunrise with my wife every morning. But now, that metal monstrosity cast a permanent shadow over my house. Oh, the Mechanist Tower, you mean? The city has certainly changed over the last year. A lot of that's because of the Mechanists. I was in Dayport just last week. All the trees are gone, and there are giant chimneys spewing out foul soot. My whole neighborhood stinks of that blackened air. My house used to be white, but now it's gone gray with that smudge. And my son coughs constantly. Well. There's more to the Mechanist than just factories. While I was in Dayport, I had to stop by the Mechanist Tower to pick up a payment. I couldn't believe what I saw. They had these mechanical faces that watched me and sent shivers down my spine, I tell you. <sighs> yeah, I know all about those metal watchers. They installed some here in the Building B the other day. I heard they plan on replacing us guards with them because they don't need to give them pay at the end of the week. I heard rumors that we're all going to be fired. If that's true, then I'll have to live in the woods like a pagan.
bones. Why don't you try this on, Chris? <coughs>
Germ is the man that makes those magic lenses. There's probably some valuable lenses in here. This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here.
Mino makes the best steaks in the entire city. His recipes may catch me a pretty penny. secret ingredient. Here, this guy is quite a popular musician. His unpublished work should be valuable. Mm. 